Happy review! We check for you! Hello? Good morning. What's going on? <laughs> Hi, Briler. Welcome to the classroom. Today, we will let you have a go at the Huawei MateBook 14S. Today's team will be back to school. Hence the classroom, you will be also be presented with a few tasks that you might need to perform and complete. Failing to do so, there will be punishment. <sighs> Test gets harder and harder. Have fun. P.S. You have to wear this. Am I seriously gonna have to wear this? <laughs> we even have a necktie. Got the MateBook 14S right here. <laughs> Saw that? That was called agile movement. Speed. Precision. Since it's a lightweight laptop, you know, there are certain lightweight laptops that completely fails on the idea where they give you a bulky charger just to accommodate for that fast charge or whatever they come up with. But let's see what this charger looks like. Oh, it's actually Type-C to Type-C. Pretty cool. Nice! This one. And you get a very small, thin, power brick. So it complements the whole design of this laptop itself. I mean, looking at the design, looking at how it looks like right now, I'm pretty sure it's much more on the premium side. It does come with Windows 11. Probably this model that we get was not updated. So it has 16 gigabytes of RAM, 11 gen Intel Core i5. I did say it was on the premium side, but after looking at this, I probably want to go to the mid-range side of a laptop. 90 hertz refresh rate, okay. An upgrade, a little bit of an upgrade. It's touch screen. Bro, it's touch screen. It's actually LTPS. Hmm? Is that like a new kind? LTPS panel. Low temperature? Polysilicon. Polysilicon panel. Dude, imagine if you're like going to like university, right? And you're presenting wirelessly and you're just like, next slide, please. 3.2 aspect ratio. Yeah, that's why I noticed like, why is it more boxy than it is like rectangular, which you usually get on a laptop or a monitor, right? But it's, this one looks a bit more square. From the aspect ratio, right? You can tell it's more productivity stuff. You can read a lot more text in it. All AI noise cancellation. Quad mic voice pickup. Oh, okay. So now it all makes sense. It's for your Zoom classes, Zoom meeting. They have four mics, you know. It has the power to endure. It's super high capacity, 60 watt per hour battery. Even uses compact Type-C charger. Everyone is using Type-C, which I personally like. So you get two Type-C ports, HDMI cables. Thank God. 3.5 millimeter jack, but one typical USB port. But it'll be better if they actually include an SD card reader. Oh, this is spruce green? It looks like silver to me. <laughs> it's green. My bad. My mistake. Intel Iris X graphics. That's more on the mid-range side, I believe. It's not for strong, powerful rendering gaming power. So we're gonna test out the speaker. So I wanted to know which NCT song is the best. You guys let me know on the comment section down below. We're gonna go max volume here just to see how far it goes. It's actually not that bad. So I would give this one a pretty good sound to it. Though I would personally appreciate it if they bumped up a little bit on the bass line. Personally, this from the get-go, you can see it doesn't track a lot of fingerprints on the design. You can see the dual uh, S-shaped fan over here, the speaker grills. The design, simple, minimalistic, straightforward. Create a presentation deck within a specific time and present it to the cloud. Wow, actually the photo quite nice lah, taken from this one. Receiving image. Very nice. Oh, this is actually very good. Now we get a deeper look inside curry puff. The color is not very curry puff-ish. Okay, I'm done. You guys underestimate my presentation, huh? Now, it doesn't take a 200 IQ scientist to know what a curry puff is. Do you know what a curry puff is? Of course you do, you don't have to answer me. I know you know what it is. But do you know the history of it? Do you know where it actually came from? Well, according to research, curry puff is a pastry 
that originated from Europe. Whoa, 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 what? It's a, it's a European dish? Yes, it is. We didn't came up with the idea. But when it was brought to Malaysia, the locals instantly fell in love with it and started to assimilate the pastry with their preferred flavor. And voila! There we have it. The name went from curry puff to curry puff. So, here's a quote from me. Keep your curry puff safe next to you because a Malaysian might take it away from you. That's for all of my presentation today. Thank you so much, everyone. The end. That was pretty interesting. I didn't expect I thought I wanted to do the traditional way where you can just, you know, but it's so silent, you can just... Alright guys, just a quick disclaimer as you guys can see I'm a student, I'm constantly learning as much as everyone is I might not get all my facts right And if you guys do happen to know an interesting fact about curry pub though Definitely let me know on the comment section down below Good presentation Thank you very much But well, there's one thing that you didn't complete What? Was including the video Oh So, we still have to punish Okay. Ketuk ketampi. Let's go. Ten times, right? Yeah. Ulo. <laughs> that definitely gave me some flashback. The first ni the punishment is kita buat sekolah. Typing test. Test your typing skills. Note the test gets harder and harder. I think this is gonna take forever, bro. I'm 82. <laughs> Can I just take the punishment now, bro? <laughs> now we have numbers, bro. Dollar signs are more! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so I can get the result? I am definitely not going through that entire process anymore. Finish him! I'm scared, bro! What, do I open my eyes? Yeah. I actually don't like cucumber, man. Am I supposed to take a bite out of it? Okay. No! <laughs> I'm gonna take a huge bite just for the sake of it, okay? Why do the cucumber taste like soap, man? Did you guys wash this with soap? <laughs> okay, but anyway, how does that all brings us back to this experience of using this Huawei MacBook 14s. I think there's a lot of things that I could share over here. In terms of portability, when I did that presentation, I think there was a lot of useful things that you can use on, especially the touch screen where you can just swipe for presentation. It might seem like a small thing, but I personally really enjoy how it's so convenient. You can just swipe it like it's on a tablet. In terms of preparation for the presentation, right? Like how I transferred from a Huawei device to another Huawei device, I think it was pretty smooth and easy. I think you guys saw, I didn't even have a cable with me. It was all done by Huawei Share, you know. In terms of doing productivity work, right? With this laptop, I think it's pretty good. I get to go through a lot of articles pretty quickly because of 3 by 2 aspect ratio. Because you get a lot more vertical screen real estates than the, the ones that you usually get, right? 16 by 9. And this one definitely did help as well in reading and all that. I would say it's very quiet. It's very nice. Overall, the keyboard experience, yet again, it's not for enthusiasts, you know. I know there's a lot of keyboard enthusiasts out there, but... For those of you who are into minimalism and all of that, I think this one looks good. I definitely see myself using this if I were to be a person that goes out cafe hopping from places to places and doing work constantly, having meetings with clients, constantly having a group meeting with my friends over at the cafe and do work over there. I definitely see this being a very good laptop for that, mainly because of how portable the entire thing is, you know? As strange as it sounds, right? I personally really like the aspect ratio that they came with. The 3 by 2 aspect ratio. It, it helps lah when you're creating presentation, when you're browsing through the internet specifically, when you're going through the articles, you just get a lot more. You don't have to constantly scroll. And the touch screen, which makes it a whole lot better because it's very, very useful. Battery, speaking of that, the battery is doing pretty well as well. We're on 16% without even a single charge from the start. The price for this laptop is 4,999 Ringgit Malaysia. From what I've experienced, I know that there's a lot more potential 
inside this laptop. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let us know in the comment section down below what product should we review next. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on our future videos. Because here at Shopee Review, we review. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Peace out.